Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to compare password. In the last video, we implemented the register functionality. In today's video, we will do the login functionality. In the last video, we created a file called hash password. I'm going to change it to password manager. Instead of passing a function, I'm going to pass an object that has hash password. And I'm going to attach that function to that one. Then I'm going to pass compare password. In that one, I'm going to add the async function. That function accept the password and existing password. Okay. Then I'm going to compare using bcrypt compare password and encrypt password. Also, this is a promise. We can await it. Okay. All right. Let's go to the controller. All right. How login function works. First, it get the email and the password. Then it check whether the user is in the database. If not, we send it is an invalid email. If user is in the database, we check whether the password is correct or not. If it is correct, we send the user's details. If it is invalid, we send invalid password. So it is so simple. Before I test the app, please subscribe to my channel. 90% of you haven't done that one. Please help me. I want to give you free and high quality content as much as possible. Let's go to testing. Here I have the name, email and the password. I'm going to send it. You can see I get 200 OK and the user subject. Also, I'm going to change the email and send it. Now you can see it is an invalid email. Also, I'm going to change the password and send it. Now you can see I'm getting an invalid password okay our app is working now but this isn't the proper way of sending data to the front end we should not store this entire object in our local storage so if hackers attack and check the local storage you can get your emails and everything still it is not good okay that's why we are using jwt's that one i will teach you in the next video make sure you like and subscribe and have a nice day